Hello, YouTubers. This is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today, I'll be doing a review on a JC Wings Qatar Airways Boeing 787 9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft and a 1 200 scale model. I pre ordered and purchased this model from Easy Toys, and their website address is www.easytoys.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular aircraft model, Please allow me to share with you some information about the history of Qatar Airways and how they actually came about. Qatar Airways is a Qatari-based airline that was founded and established on November 22, 1993 and officially commenced operations two months later on January 20, 1994 as Qatar Airways is fully owned and operated by the Qatari government and has been fully controlled by the Qatari government since July 2013 after the country's sovereign fund bought a 50% stake from Qatar's former Prime Minister, Sheikh Hamad bin Jassamel Al Thani, and other shareholders. Qatar Airways is the official state-owned national flag carrier airline for the country of Qatar, whereas the headquarters of Qatar Airways is located at the Qatar Airways Tower that's located in Doha, Qatar, while the airline's main hub and base of operations is located on the grounds of the Hamad International Airport, which is located approximately nine and a half miles southeast of the downtown city center district section of Doha, Qatar. At the time of this video review posting, Qatar Airways currently operates a hub and spoke network linking to over 173 international destinations worldwide on six inhabited continents that spans across Africa, Central Asia, Europe, the Far East, Southeast Asia, the Middle East, North America, South America, and Oceania from its base hub at Hamad International Airport as Qatar Airways is currently one of nine airlines to own this actual distinction of permanently flying to all six inhabited continents along with Air Canada, Air China, British Airways, Delta Airlines, Emirates, Korean Air, Qantas and United Airlines respectively with an operating fleet of 254 aircraft which includes 41 Boeing 787s in which 30 of those are the Boeing 787-8s and the remaining 11 are the Boeing 787-9s including this one you're looking at here. And in addition to the 254 aircraft that currently operate in the Qatar Airways fleet, the Qatari based carrier also has unfulfilled orders for an additional 197 more aircraft which includes 19 more Boeing 787-9s, and those aircraft, as we speak, are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery. Also at the time of this video review posting, Qatar Airways is one of 10 airline carriers in the world of aviation, along with a and All Nippon Airways, Asiana Airlines, Eva Air, Cathay Pacific, Garuda Indonesia, Hainan Airlines, Japan Airlines, Korean Air, and Singapore Airlines to hold this prestigious honor of operating as a certified five-star airline carrier, according to the international airline review firm, Skytrax Magazine. All right, everyone, let's take a look at the front of the box here. And what you're looking at at the top is the aircraft type, the Boeing 787-9, the Dreamliner uh, decal, the Qatar Airways billboard title, as well as inscripted Arabic writing, the airline's corporate logo, the computer-generated picture of the aircraft, the Boeing official licensed product decal, as well as the 1-200 scale diecast aircraft model you see at the front of the box. All right, now you're looking at the back of the box, and what you see is the Qatar Airways billboard title, the Arabic inscripted writing, the airline's corporate logo, the width as well as the length of the aircraft, the JC Wings logo as well as the information, including the specification concerning this particular aircraft. You can pause and read that if you like. In the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving, all right? All right, now you're looking at the top of the box, and what you see is the Boeing 787-9 title, the Qatar Airways billboard title, the Arabic inscripted writing, the airline's corporate logo, as well as the 1-200 scale diecast aircraft model information you see at the top of the box. All right, now you're looking at the bottom of the box. It's pretty much the same information at the top of the box I showed you early on. Higher to the right of it is two versions here. This is the first one. This is the one I'm going to do the review on. That's the very first one. 
And then that's the one they uh, re-released later on. Okay. You got a chance to get either one of them. Please do so. High recommend it. All right. Now looking at the model stand. that actually came with the model. In the bottom of the model stand, you see the Qatar Airways billboard title, the Arabic and scripted writing, the airline's corporate logo, the aircraft type, as well as the scale model information you see at the bottom of the model stand. And then you come up here. You see that black pattern there, folks? The sole purpose of that black pattern is that pattern not only protects your model, it also prevents it from being damaged or scratched when and if you decide you want to put your aircraft model on this particular model stand, okay? All right, now you're looking at this plastic bag, and what you see inside this plastic bag are the actual gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model, featuring the two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into detail for the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model later on, okay? Alright, with all the information out of the way about the history of Qatar Airways and how they actually came about and still operating strongly at the time of this video review posting, plus all the details here at the front of the box as well as the information concerning the aircraft at the back of the box, plus the actual model stand that came with the model, as well as the gear replacement doors you see inside that plastic bag there, with no further ado, everyone, here is the actual model out of the packaging box. Check it out. There it is, everyone. The JC Wings Qatar Airways Boeing 787-9 Stretch Dreamliner Aircraft and a 1-200 scale model. All right. Allow me to share with you some information about the Qatar Airways Boeing 787-9 Stretch Dreamliner Aircraft and how this particular aircraft actually became a part of their fleet finally. Doha Qatar-based Qatar Airways officially became the 46th airline operator in the world of aviation that acquired this prestigious state-of-the-art next-generation aircraft as Qatar Airways took delivery of its very first of 30 of the next-generation Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliners that the Qatari-based carrier had placed orders for back on October 7, 2016 and received their very first next-generation Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft which bears the registration ship number Alpha 7 Bravo Hotel Alpha, which happened to be this aircraft we're looking at here, at a special delivery ceremony that was held at the Boeing Delivery Center facility, which is located in Everett, Washington, on December 23, 2019. But unfortunately, three days later, on December 26, 2019, the first four of Qatar's next generation Boeing 787 9s were actually flown back to the United States of America a day later on December 27, 2019. And instead of returning the aircraft to Everett, Washington, where the Boeing 787-9s were originally delivered at, the Qatari-based carrier's first four of their next-generation Boeing 787-9s were instead flown to an aircraft storage facility that's located on the grounds of the Southern California Logistics Airport, which is located in Victorville, California, where these aircraft remain stored up at until April 2nd, 2020. Then Qatar's next generation Boeing 787-9s were flown and ferried to an aircraft storage facility that's located on the grounds of Doha International Airport in Doha, Qatar, only to remain stored up at for an additional seven more months until November 1st, 2020. And the reason why the introduction of Qatar's next generation Boeing 787-9s was actually lingered as well as delayed was actually due to the problems with Qatar's interior in regards with getting the Q-suites properly installed and fitted inside this aircraft, which actually prolonged the introduction of this particular aircraft, the next generation Boeing 787-9s stress Dreamline, into service. Then made its actual debut on the very next day of November 2nd, 2020, with a validation flight between Doha, Qatar and Brussels, Belgium. Then was followed with another pair of validation flights when it flew from Doha, Qatar to Dublin, Ireland and London Heathrow shortly thereafter, only utilized at the time as cargo flights, which actually allowed the flight crews, the maintenance crews, as well as the ground staff personnel time to get familiar with the aircraft per se before the actual international flight launch. Then fast forward seven months later, and that's when Qatar Airways' first inaugurated international flight on this aircraft actually took place, which was on June 25, 2021, and that's when Qatar Airways officially began utilizing this aircraft on their Doha to Milan-Malpensa route 
alternating with the Airbus A350-900XWBs, as well as their Boeing 787-8s that are currently utilized on this particular route, as Qatar Airways' entire fleet of their Boeing 787-9s are based and operates exclusively out of their global hub at Hamad International Airport in Doha, Qatar. Qatar Airways has ordered a total of 30 Boeing 787 9-stretch Dreamliners to add to their fleet, which complements in addition to the already 30 Boeing 787 8s that's already operating in their fleet. And now, at the time of this video review posting, only 11 are currently operating in service, while the remaining 19 are currently on back order and are awaiting delivery, as Qatar Airways currently utilizes this particular aircraft mostly on their medium to long haul routes as this particular aircraft is also destined to become one of the major flagship jetliners for the Doha Qatar based carrier in the foreseeable future. Now let's talk about this unique livery scheme you see on this aircraft. This is the current livery scheme of Qatar Airways, which was unveiled on March 8, 2006 at the International Tourism Borsa Berlin Travel Convention in Berlin, Germany. And the first aircraft that actually begun sporting this livery scheme in Qatar's fleet was an Airbus A340-600, which bared the registration ship number Alpha 7-Alpha Golf Alpha, as this livery scheme is definitely a strong reflection of an airline that's confident and progressing at the same time. And even though this livery scheme has been the airline's signature trademark livery look ever since it was unveiled in 2006, it has definitely become one of the most recognized livery schemes in the airline industry today. So, with all that information out of the way about this aircraft's flying in a fleet, which is becoming a game changer for Qatar Airways, as well as this unique livery scheme you see displayed here. With no further ado, everyone, let us get down to the nitty gritty and let me show you all the details on this aircraft mount, shall we? Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the port slash left side. We're going to start at the front as always, where you see the uh, front nose landing gear here, the landing gear strut. The landing gear door featuring the partial registration ship number on there, Hotel Alpha. See the Peter 2s and the static ports, what have you. The radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, and the cockpit windows. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those details later on in the model review. But right to the right side of the L1 entrance door is the One World logo. You see that little blue dot right there. There. And Qatar Airways actually became a member of the One World Alliance on October 30th, 2013 which consists of 14 airline members from six inhabited continents. And this alliance includes American Airlines, British Airways, Cathay Pacific, and Qantas as the four founding members, becoming the first golf carrier to sign on with one of the three alliances. Okay. And then we're going to look at the Wi-Fi decal display underneath the One World logo, which is this little, little deal right there. Okay. And that decal actually indicates that Wi-Fi is available and aboard this aircraft, okay? And then you see the Qatar billboard title you see there as well. All right, we're at the middle of the aircraft, and what you're looking at is the Arabic inscriptive writing that's displayed next to the Qatar billboard title, which is this right here. And the Arabic inscriptive writing that's displayed near the Qatar billboard title literally means al Qatariya in the Arabic language, okay? And then we're going to slide down here underneath the wings here. You see it got a nice visual view of the landing bogey gears here on the side of the aircraft, which includes the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. And then you see these nice big massive engines you see there, folks. And these are the General Electric Gen X-1B turbofan type engines that are used on this particular Qatar Airways next generation Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft. You also see the engine cones right here. Very realistic detail there. And then you see the sawtooth pattern here on the engine column. And the sole purpose of these uh, sawtooth pattern on this engine column is for noise reduction and help improve fuel efficiency at the same time. And then you see the engine lip here, very realistic detail there as well. Now we're going to turn this aircraft model around. We're going to look at the front of the engines and we're going to see if the turbo fan blades do spin. Let's check it out and find out. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port slash left side, featuring the engine stripe slash deflectors there. Now we're going to see if these fan blades spin. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, perfect. Awesome. 
And then you see the inboard land light right there in the triangle patterns, three little dots right there. As well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears, which includes the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the starboard side of the aircraft featuring the engine strike slash deflectors you see there as well. Now let's see if the fan blade spin over here as well. Let's check it out. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Okay. And then you see the inboard landing light you see displayed there as well, as well as the front visual view of the landing bogey gears you see here, which includes the landing gear struts, as well as the actual landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft. You've got a better visual view of the cockpit windows you see here, the windshield wipers, the radon nose cone, the front nose landing gear doors, the landing gear lights inside of the landing gear doors, the landing gear struts, as well as the front visual view of the front nose landing gears, okay? All right, everyone, we're still here on the port side of the aircraft, and we're still looking at the engine. And what you see on the engine cowling is the Qatar Airways logo, which is this corporate logo you see here on the engine cowling. And this is the corporate logo of Qatar Airways, which resembles that of an oryx, which is considered the national animal of the state of Qatar as its logo. As this logo can also be visibly seen on the tail fin of the aircraft as well. I'm going to show you that right here, right now. There it is. The Qatar Airways corporate logo, which resembles that of an Oryx, is also displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft you see there as well. Okay. All right. Now you're looking at the curved rake wing tip on this side of the aircraft, the port side, featuring the red navigation light you see there on the edge of the uh, wing right here. All right. We're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side and right in the white section. You see that little door right here? That is called the AFT bolt bin door. And right above the AFT bolt bin door is the Dreamliner decal, which is this decal right here. This particular state-of-the-art next-generation aircraft was officially given the name Dreamliner sometime back in July 2003. After a public naming competition was held for the 7E7 in which this aircraft was originally named and was officially given the name of this particular aircraft, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner aircraft, sometime in January 2005. And at the time of this video review posting, Qatar Airways has become one of seven Middle Eastern Gulf carriers along with Etihad Airways, Saudi Airlines, Oman Air, El Al Israel Airlines, Gulf Air and Egypt Air, respectively, that also operate this particular aircraft in their fleets as well. All right, we stay at the back of the aircraft, and right above the Dreamliner decal in the gray section is the actual registration ship number, which is Alpha 7 Bravo Hotel Alpha, which is this registration ship number you're looking at here. Registration ship number Alpha 7 Bravo Hotel Alpha. This particular aircraft is actually the very first Boeing 787 9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft that actually entered the carrier's fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on September 4, 2019, and was delivered to Qatar Airways on December 23, 2019. But unfortunately, this aircraft officially didn't enter service until November 2, 2020. All right, we still at the back of the aircraft, and right above the windows, as you see, is the Qatari flag decal, which is this decal you're looking at right here. And that particular flag decal actually represents the country where Qatar Airways currently operates from as the national flag carrier airline for the state of Qatar. And then you see the airline's corporate logo you see there on the tail fin of the aircraft, as I mentioned earlier, okay? Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft, and what you're looking at is the APU exhaust hole. APU literally stands for Zero Air Power Unit, and there is an actual hole there, folks. Check this out. And then you see that little deal right here between the horizontal stabilizer and the APU exhaust. That is the strobe light right there, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Check it out. There it is. Awesome. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard slash right side of the aircraft. We're going to start here at the front nose landing gear, 
the landing gear struts, the landing gear door featuring the partial registration ship number. You see the pitted tubes and static ports, what have you, the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the Qatar billboard title, as well as the front cargo container loading door. All right, now you're looking at the center of the aircraft here on the starboard side. We're going to start right above the windows, which is the Arabic inscriptive writing, which I mentioned earlier means Al Qatariya. And then you see the nice General Electric Gen, Gen X 1B turbofan type engines featuring the airline's logo, the sawtooth pattern, as I mentioned, for noise reduction and fuel efficiency at the same time, the engine cones, as well as the side visual view of the landing bogey gears here, including the landing gear struts, as well as the actual landing gear doors. All right, now we're going to the rake wingtip here on the starboard side of the aircraft featuring the green navigation light you see right there on the edge of the wingtip there. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side. What you see is the rear cargo container loading door, the Dreamliner decal, the registration ship number, the Qatari flag decal, the airline's corporate logo here on the side of the aircraft, the tail fin as well as the strobe light you see back here as well. All right, before I show you this aircraft mount from the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view in full detail, please allow me to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. I'm about to show you that right here, right now. Rolls pretty good. So far, so good. You see it tilt, tilt by itself. You see there, and the front nose, Landing gear swivels as well. You can see somewhat. Okay, it swivels a little bit, all right? But anyway, with that being said, let's check out this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. Let's check it out. All right, now you're seeing this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front of the aircraft as always, where you see the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, and that little door above the cockpit will as the pod escape hatch door, the anti-collision beacon light, a high frequency antenna. You start up here, the ADF antenna. A couple more high frequency antennas there as well. And then there's the uh, tail fin of the aircraft and the horizontal stabilizer with the little dots there and there as well. Those little dots, everyone, are actually called illuminator lights. And the sole purpose of these illuminator lights is that it actually light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now, let's check out the wings and the engines from above. There's the engine. And there's the uh, wing there. No wing walkway, but you got the no-step warning information on the wings. As well as the flaps, slats, aileron spores, what have you. Fuel dump valve, as well as the... Uh, Curve rake wingtip you see there. Now let's check out over here. See the engines right there. As well as the top of the wings. No wing walkway there. But you got the no step one information on this side here as well. Including the flap, slats, aileron, spoilers, what have you. Fuel dump valve. And the uh, curve rake wingtip on the side of the aircraft as well. All right, now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft. We're going to start at the front here as well. You see the radon nose cone. That little door there is called the crew escape hatch door. You see the uh, front nose landing gear door as well as the front nose landing gear. And then you slide up this way. You see the Qatar billboard title you see there, including the navigation light, the hole where the mile stand goes in at. A couple more antennas there. And the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears. Okay, they tilt perfect. You see the engines there underneath, as well as the wings underneath as well, which includes the flaps, slats, aileron, spoilers, what have you. Registration ship number, fuel dump valve, as well as the curved rake wing tip underneath. Now let's check out over here. See the gears right there, they tilt perfect. The engine's there, as well as the wings underneath as well, which includes the flap, slats, aileron, spoilers, what have you. 
field dump valve, as well as the curved rake wingtip underneath as well. All right, since I show you this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view as well as the undercarriage belly view in full detail, now I'm going to put it on that nice little model stand you see right there that I showed you earlier on. So with no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Check it out. All right, fine, got this model on the stand with no problem, no hesitation, as you see it being displayed in the takeoff landing position being displayed on the stand. Now I'm allow this model to rotate in clockwise rotation, starting with the port side, then the tail cam angle, then the starboard side, then the front of the aircraft, and then back to the port side. Let's check it out. Okay, before I take this model stand, I got it at this angle for a reason. And the reason is it's the actual magnetic gears that actually came with this model. So I'm going to go ahead and take them all. Let's see what I'm talking about. Starting with the front nose landing gear. As you can see there, that's magnetic. The landing gear here on the port side. That's magnetic as well. As well as the magnetic gear on the starboard side. That's magnetic as well. All right. So I'm going to let you see this air crab model at a different angle in flight mode position without the gears and gears up position check it out all right now you see this model being displayed in flight mode slash gears up position without the gears on there now you got one or two options how you want to continue to display your model if you want to continue to display your model like this without the gears in flight mode position with the model stand that is fine you see these gear replacement doors inside this plastic bag i showed you earlier that's the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors. So you can substitute your gears while you display your model like this in flight mode slash gears up position with the model on the stand. Or you can do the other option like I recommend is the gear down position with the gears on there. Gears up, gear down, your choice. I choose keep mine on there because that adds more value to the model. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take put these gears back on this model. Take this model on the stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review. Okay. All right, let's talk about the seating configuration. The Qatar Airways next generation Boeing 787-9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft seats 311 passengers in a two-class configurate cabin layout. All right, everyone, here's the breakdown from rows one to eight, which will be about from here to about right here. You have 30 business class live flatbed seats and rows 10 to 43, which will be about from here, all the way back to the rear of the aircraft, you had an additional 281 economy class seats, which brings a total of 311 seats. And finally, in addition to Brussels, Belgium, Dublin, Ireland, and London Heathrow as the validated test flight destination, as well as Milan Malpensa as the official inaugurated international flight destination on this particular aircraft, Qatar Airways currently utilizes this aircraft or have previously utilized this particular aircraft. The next generation Boeing 787 9 stretch Dreamliner aircraft on routes from its global hub at Hamad International Airport in Doha, Qatar, to worldwide destinations such as Athens, Greece, Barcelona, Spain, Berlin, Brandenburg, Germany, Budapest, Romania, Cairo, Egypt, Chennai, India, Copenhagen, Denmark, Daman, Saudi Arabia, Delhi, India, Islamabad, Pakistan, Karat, Karachi, Pakistan. Kathmandu, Nepal via Delhi, India, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Madrid, Spain, Manchester, England, Mumbai, India, Munich, Germany, Nairobi, Kenya, Oslo, Norway, Paris, Charles de Gaulle, Phuket, Thailand, Rome, Fumicino, Vienna, Austria, and Warsaw, Poland. Them are the routes. Where well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. I like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting this model or getting the other one that JC Wing's getting ready to drop or have already dropped. 
You only also have a chance of getting them mobs we speak is pretty much on eBay. If you can't get it on there, you're pretty much out of luck. All right. So with that said, please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.